Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Vallabh Chavda and today we'll be doing a case report on antral mucus retention cysts. So patient had basically came with a chief complaint of missing teeth. Uh, he wanted to get an implant done. So doctor had basically referred for the CBCT scan for the edentulous area and the antral mucus retention cyst or antral mucus uh, mucosil was an incidental finding seen in the radiograph. So they usually appear as smooth, the borders are smooth, round outward convex borders and uh, are usually nothing but soft tissue masses uh, and less likely to be fluid filled mass so they appear attached to the antral or the sinus mucosal uh, wall sinus wall and uh, this is how it appears in the axial section and same thing in the sagittal section and same thing in the coronal section they are less likely to be seen in the 3d volume images so because it's a soft tissue mass so they may be seen well in a mri scan but uh, more likely to be seen in uh, like scans that show soft tissues so since this is the maxillary wall uh, there's the la uh, medial wall of the sinus this is the lateral wall of the sinus or the side wall this is the frontal wall and this is the posterior wall and this is how it appears to be seen in the sinus we'll just cut this thing into two okay so this is the frontal view this is how it is seen okay so this is the anterior wall of the mucosil and same thing we'll just see it in the cmpr view where we have just sliced the teeth into smallest cross sections in one mm cross section and this is how it appears here you can see it is attached to the medial and the lateral wall slightly detached to the floor of the sinus same thing you can see it in the uh, sagittal cmpr view where we'll just divide this into smallest cross sections say around with 2 mm interval lines and study the same thing in the 1 mm interval line so this is how it appears in the axial cross section okay so this is the uh, lateral wall or the outer wall and this is the inner wall okay so why this thing is important because if uh, someone is planning for a sinus surgery uh, sinus lift procedure or something so treating the mucosal is very important otherwise if it is asymptomatic uh, non-inflammatory it can be left without any treatment but uh, eventually it may, it may lead to peristhesia and other symptoms that block the uh, sinus orifices and uh, though it is non-cancerous but uh, for procedures like sinus lift procedure it definitely needs a treatment okay so this was everything about uh, mucus retention cyst or the antral mucosal okay thank you so much